Okay, we're going to do an example of finding a polar area using calculus, um, and it's going to be for a rose curve. So the problem that I want to solve is find the area of one petal of r equals cosine of 3 theta. So the first thing I want to do is I need to be able to um, graph this thing. And if you don't know how to graph in polar, uh, you know, there are videos available for that. Basically what you do is you find where r equals 0, you sketch in those lines. Um, I usually look at the rectangular graph, and having looked at the rectangular graph, I can uh, kind of follow the pattern that it sets out. And so this is my graph. And what I want to do is I want to find the area of just one petal. So that's half of a petal. And what I usually do with polar is I find uh, half of something and I use symmetry, or I'll find like an eighth of it or whatever. Um, but I'm always using symmetry because it just makes things a little bit easier. So I'm actually going to find half of the petal. So I know that uh, I'm going to have to double it because I'm only finding half. And I know that the formula itself for polar area has a one-half, so I'll put my one-half. And then it's going to be an integral. And now where am I starting? Well, I'm starting, if you see the radius that I just drew in there, I'm starting at theta equals zero, so it's zero. And I'm going to stop, so if you, you really have to know how polar curves are traced to be able to figure out polar areas. Um, I'm going to stop the first time that r gets to zero. So r gets to zero the first time at pi over six which is along that line, so pi over 6, so I'm going from 0 to pi over 6, and then it's r squared, so it'll be cosine of 3 theta, I'm going to square that, and then d theta, and uh, I don't really want to do this by hand, so I'm going to just grab a calculator and calculate it, and I end up with pi over 12 for my area, and uh, if you are doing this by hand, this comes up a lot, you got to remember that cosine squared of 3 theta is going to be 1 plus cosine of 6 theta, so I'm using a double angle formula, um, or sometimes called the power reducing formula, to get that. Um, so that's one way to do it. Uh, there's actually another way you can do it. So if I kind of duplicate my graph here. So if instead of starting at 0, what if I kind of rewind? So um, instead of 0, I've backed up by pi over 6. And if you back up by pi over 6, you actually get to another point where theta, where r equals 0, I should say. So what happens is, first, if I go from negative pi over 6 to 0, it traces out the bottom half of that pedal. And then from 0 to pi over 6 is going to give me the top half of that pedal. So what I can do is I can just do 1 half the integral from negative pi over 6 to pi over 6 of cosine of 3 theta squared d theta. And that'll give me the same answer. Now, what if the question is asking you to find the entire area of the region enclosed? Well, uh, I just found one petal. I know that there are three petals, so all I have to do is take my answer and multiply by three. Um, so that's how I deal with rose curves, and I hope you found this helpful. Good luck.